and running in 2020 and have made a lot of really, really great things this month that I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, there's definitely a theme. The theme is blue. It wasn't intentional. It just kind of happened that way. Um, so there's a lot of blue and then a really fun pop at the end that um, you guys are really, really gonna love. So let's start with, don't peek. Um, let's start with, oh God, where do I start? Let's start with the things that you guys knew about from my plans video that I did um, earlier this month. So this is how my So My Style Courtney bodysuit from Rad Patterns turned out. This is the back. I did the low V. It is very low and all of you are thinking, oh, but I can't wear a bra with that. I have one that works. Um, I already tested it out. This is from Intimately by Free People. I will link it in the description box if I can find it. Now, for those of you that are more full busted, I don't know that this is going to provide a ton of support, but it works for me. I'm a BC cup. Um, and basically what it is, it's a little bralette. And then in the back, the straps are extended past the, past the bra itself and the back is lowered. And it doesn't look like this is going to provide you with a a big opening in the back, but it really, really does. So check the description box. I'll let you know if I found anything like this online, um, but I've already worn it. It's really great. I love it. I love how there's no elastic on the leg. At first I was like, that's weird, but then I fell for it. Um, and the fabric just looks really great and I'm just really happy with it. I can't wait to make more of those. And while I'm kind of telling you about the, the projects, you will hear more from me about them. Um, as I get the modeling and all of that done. So sometime in February, you'll get to see all of this stuff on me. Okay, here's how my little jacket turned out. So cute, so fun. Like I need a concert, right? I need somewhere to go in this. Um, this was just super, super fun to make. Super easy to make. This boucle from Joanne um, was just really, really great. I love the little curved hem here. Um, the little waist seam is adorable. Here's the back. Um, so, 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 so cute. I can't wait to show you guys how I will be like styling this and make it appropriate to wear like in normal life, like to Target. You know what I say? Would I wear that to Target? I would totally wear this to Target and I will show you guys how. And I have a lot to say about the pattern. A lot of really, really good stuff to say about the pattern. This was a threads pattern. It is Simplicity 8604 um, with tips from threads. And I really, I really, really liked it a lot. Um, again, you'll hear a lot more about all my thoughts on this whenever I do the pattern review and, you know, the whole modeling situation. Okay. Then two things that were kind of surprises because they came together after I had um, already filmed my plans video. And the first one is this cute little dress. This is the Sew Over It Vintage Shirt Dress. And this came together with the help of all of my followers on Instagram. I did this thing called Design the Look where uh, Stylemaker Fabrics and I chose a couple of fabrics and had people vote on those. And then when the fabric was chosen, we had them choose between two sewing patterns. And then when the patterns were chosen, we had them choose design details like sleeves and the hem length and the button color and all of that stuff. And this is the result of that. Um, the fabric is amazing. It is a tensile denim shirting and it's just really beautiful. You can kind of see the sheen that it has to it. And it has this really pretty like lime flower drawing um, that ended up being a little bit kind of monochromatic, which is really, really cool. So I can't wait to show you guys this one as well. Um, if, it isn't all if it isn't up already, 
In fact, the Courtney bodysuit might be up too. So if they are, I'll link them in the description box and you can check them out there. If not, then they're coming to the channel really, really soon. Okay, and lastly, I did kind of tease this project a little bit in my plans video, but I didn't have the fabric yet and I knew I couldn't describe it in a way that I thought you guys would understand, but I posted a mini plans video for it uh, last week. Um, and it's done and it is my valentine's day dress <sighs> and this is how it turned out here let me back up so you can get the whole shebang what do you think oh my god okay so this was a labor of love obviously the pattern i used didn't have any of this color blocking i drafted all of that in all by myself and i'm really really proud of it here's the back um, so I have a really fun photo shoot planned to um, show you guys this on me and I don't know it's just really fun and I did so much work on the pattern that I do want to make another one maybe like a monochromatic or like a black white or a black gray and cream version kind of like what I'm wearing here today. Uh, this is my toaster sweater that I made from that ombre fabric that Joanne had. Um, so maybe something like that. I, I also wanna tinker a little bit with the um, shape of all of this, but I'll tell you guys all about that um, when I post the video. I don't wanna give it too much away, but I am really excited about all my projects and I just wanna tell you all about them all at once. But that's not what today is for. Today is just to show you the things I made. So I hope that you guys really like them. Let me know what you think in the description box below and maybe it inspires you to get into your sewing room today or in the next couple of days and make something that you can brag about um, to everyone that you know. So thank you all so much for watching. Check the description box. Lots of info down there. See you guys soon. Bye.